Well, back in Missouri, in an effort to make children safer in in home daycares this week, the Show Me State passed Nathan's Law. The law honors Nathan Blecka. Blecka suffocated at a Jefferson City daycare in 2007 when he was just three months old. Our David Chasanoff spoke, spoke with Senator Jill Shoup, and Shoup helped make this law possible. So, David, what did it take to make this happen? Crystal, Shoup tells me child care and government workers work together. They want a law to be written in a way that saves lives. Nathan's law was put into place to make sure that kids are safe in daycare settings. The law passed on August 28th. It took 10 years to make this happen. We've closed the loophole in the law that left kids in unsafe conditions. That loophole? That allowed providers to watch not only the specified number of children they were allowed to to watch, but an unlimited number of related children. Now it's a different story for in-home, unlicensed daycare providers. They are now allowed to watch a total of six children, no more than three under the age of two. And if those providers have children in school, they don't count towards that total. <laughs> Melissa Woodruff in West Plains is happy to hear this. It will allow me to have two more kids to babysit, and it will really help out with bills and just give the other kids somebody else to play with. Woodruff was following state law, which said providers could watch four unrelated children. <laughs> Nathan's law will help Woodruff's in-home daycare. I have people call me at least once or twice a month, sometimes weekly. Woodruff's daycare is popular because of its busy schedule. We stick to a really tight schedule, and it, I feel like it helps them, you know, get ready for school and just in life. And many daycares in town are booked. Woodruff says Nathan's law will improve this situation. It's kind of hard for parents to find daycare, so I'm sure it'll help out at least two other families around here. Woodruff loves her job so much, she wishes she could watch more kids. I've always loved kids and always loved working with them and just I can't imagine not having kids at my house all day. Now Woodruff tries to make her daycare feel like a family. She says the more she makes it feel like home, the better it is for her kids. All right, thanks David.